Welcome to Crafty Hints. I'm Chantel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today we'll be making two fall decor items that cost under $1.50, but look like they cost a whole lot more. To start with, we'll get this hurricane lamp for a candle and some of these leaves. And this will be super simple. We're just going to tuck these in around the candle and I kept the vein inside so that, you know, you don't see it so dark. Some of these have really dark veins on them. So just arrange them however looks best to you. You know, choosing the colors that fit your decor best. I found that once you put the candle in, if you tilt it, it gives you enough space to tuck those in there. And then I just used a real fancy tool. Yep. A colored pencil to tuck them down in there. So here we are. Okay, next we want to finish embellishing this. I used some burlap ribbon and I just wrapped it around once and then what I'm going to do is fix these leaves that were just bunched up just a little bit. But you'll take this around, measure it to the length that you want and cut it. Next I took those pumpkins and they have a little twist tie wire to them. So if you just take this around and crisscross it and wrap this wire around a couple of times, it will hold it in place for you. Now the reason I'm doing this is I can use this for the next holiday. All I have to do is, you know, take the leaves out, take the pumpkin off, and I can turn it into something for Christmas. So waste not, want not, right? And that way I don't have to store this for just one holiday. So we want to be able to use our home decor items in more than one item. And I think this turned out really pretty. What do you think? For our next DIY, you'll want some matte Mod Podge and some more of those leaves. And this is just one of the little fishbowl 
glasses from the Dollar Tree and a paintbrush. Now this is something super simple to do. I took a little wax paper underneath this just so it didn't mess up my desk. And again, I want you to learn from my example, but what I found the easiest way was to put some of the Mod Podge down first and then press the leaf into it. I tried first painting the leaf and then attaching it. It didn't work very well. So I would put some Mod Podge down first, press a leaf into it, and then grab your brush again, put a little bit on top, and then prepare the space for your next leaf. Now you don't want a ton of Mod Podge. You want it to be able to dry and you know, not be able to really see it. So an, a thin coat, but enough to cover it. So just enough and then some over the top of it as well to make sure and hold it in place. Now on this one, I also made sure to keep the leaves on or the veins of the leaves on the inside so that they didn't shine so bright on the outside. But sometimes they don't sit as well in there. So just kind of play with the leaves. Sometimes you're going to have to flip them over for them to mold to the side of the bowl. And again, you're just going to choose leaves that are going to fit your decor best and just keep going all the way around and then just making sure that there's Mod Podge on top of all of them to seal it well. Do you like these sped up DIYs or do you like to watch the full process kind of play out? Do you like crafts that take a little bit more time or are super simple and look great? Please leave me a comment below because I do want to create DIYs that both look good in my home as well as DIYs that you'd enjoy doing for yours. So leave me a comment below. Also, if you're enjoying these crafts, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to see future DIYs that I include. All right, here it is, all finished and dry. Um, I've just paired it with a couple burlap pumpkins here, and I've put in a battery-operated votive candle. Now you could also put one of the big flameless candles in there. I will show that as well in just a moment. I hope that you really like these and leave me a comment below and subscribe so that I can see you next time.
Thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate you watching my channel.